Hey, what is up, everybody? We promised you Spider-Man. And you we got, got Banjo Man. We got Spider Banjo Kazooie. Due to a bunch of technical problems, you don't care about Spider-Man does not work ATM. That means at the moment. Unfortunately, not unfortunately. Banjo Kazooie is a goddamn amazing game, and we bought it on Xbox, so it's nice and pretty and polygonal for you. Let's enjoy the theme song. So zany. That is pretty zany. Mumbo's keyboard does not, or his xylophone does not say Nintendo on it anymore. What does it say? It says Microsoft <laughs> Studios. Well, that's gonna be weird. I know. <clears throat> Ew, gross. Yeah. That's disgusting. It is. That's why, and then the Nintendo logo doesn't walk across in the beginning, if you notice that. Oh, yeah, it was just a blank screen for yeah. like five seconds. And it just showed the dragonfly. What was the deal with them and Nintendo? Because in Conquer, he, like, chainsaws the logo in half and, like, kicks it to the side. Yeah. Were they at odds with one another, or was it just a funny thing? No, I mean, that was just... Was that it's a joke or were, was it's just that... a joke? The Rare obviously liked Nintendo. They made Kazooie and Tui and Goldeneye and Turok and Killer Instinct and Yep. Uh Conquer and Goldeneye, which is a shitty game. What is with that game being so popular? I hate it. It's did you play it when you were a kid? No. That's why. Let's use the Game Boy one. The Game Boy guy. I know that if you do the kitchen one, sometimes it like spins around like a bookcase. And yeah. Like yeah. goes into like this dark abyss. Mm -hmm. Ooh, story. It's too spippy for me. So, I guess starting this off, Nick and I both love this game. It's very dear to both of us. One of our favorites of all time. Um, and it is an amazing game. Um, while I do prefer it over Tui, I do think that Tui is the better game. Mm -hmm. um, certainly, um, Grunty <laughs> creeps me out. Do you like Tui? Well, do you think it's a better game because there's just more to do? I mean, it's just, it's a little more convoluted, like there's a lot of backtracking. Yeah. But at the same time, I mean, it's a better game. The worlds are more in-depth, there's more characters, it's funnier. Absolutely. Um, it's just it's just a better game. And this game, I think, is platforming bliss. I think this is better than Super Mario 64. Um, I know probably everyone in the world disagrees with me, but it's not true. I think it's better. I and think it's... On the same level. If not, at least high. And, yeah. And I think... I don't know. It's, it's. I think this game is just one of the best platforms. Shonen Sentai. How's it going, buddy? I'm not going to have to censor those out. No. Okay. Because, well, yeah. we got to get all the achievements. Yep. Hells yeah. Even though they're all story-based, so we're going to get them anyway. So that was weird. That, like, froze a second. That was weird. Um, so, yeah. A little trivia on this game. Um... Was this Rare's second platformer for the N64, I guess? What was their first? Donkey Kong? Was it Donkey Kong 98? Or No, wait, this was one this was the first, first one? This was like 96. Oh, sh no, okay. Oh, Bottles does a Hitler thing. Unless wait. they edited it out. Isn't this 98, Donkey Kong is 99, and then Chewie is 2000? Something like that. Chewie came out two years after Kazooie. They were producing games like animals. They I, were. I would argue... In the N64 era, they were just as good as Nintendo. They were. If not better. I wholeheartedly agree. Look at the polygons on Banjo's <laughs> eyes. That's what happens when you up-res, up-HD 720iP composite Do you like Banjo shit. or Kazooie better? Banjo. I like Kazooie. She's funny. She's, she's a, a wise-cracking bird. She's such a bitch. Oh, yeah. Like in the second one, when Bottles died, she's like, oh, he wasn't important. That was That's hilarious. <laughs> and then... Oh, wait. There, the Hitler bottles. Hitler bottles. Yeah. Adolf bottles. Uh, this girl, Tootie, is, like, missing in Banjo-Tootie. They never make any mention of her. And she's on a milk box. A milk carton. Oh, yeah, they do that. So I guess she got kidnapped again? Or maybe that's left over maybe from Maybe she got depressed ordeal? and started listening to Radiohead and, like, dropped out of high school. Panic at the Disco. <laughs> Fallout Boy. God, kill me now. Oh, man, my sister's in that phase, and it's stupid. Oh, well. I failed. I failed as an older sibling. It was going to happen. But... Oh, okay. Oh, by, by the way, the story in this game, very complicated. You're going to have to pay attention. Yeah, it's a lot of side plots and, and 
postmodern technique. It's really true. It's just scary how convoluted it is. So we'll keep you guys on the up and up. Yeah, well, in the description boxes, I'll kind of summarize what happens. Mm -hmm. and try to keep you going. As a child, Grunty scared the shit out of me. Um, Why does he have three trash cans? Two people <laughs> living in one... Three people, I guess. All right, people. I guess um, I'll do the first world. I mean, unless you want to make the tutorial a video. Well, we got to get the honeycombs. Yeah. We don't have to go around and learn each move. Cause yeah, listen up. I'm Botless. Hey, Botless. I'm Banho, and this here is my buddy, Kazuai. That's Are we going to do this the whole game? <laughs> We're going to do this whole goddamn Sorry. game? Sorry. Oh, my God. Sorry. Do you know where all the extra lines are in this area? I know where one. No, I know where two are, but I never die. So Where are the two? There's one... By the waterfall, yeah. And isn't there one up in a little thing, like an up in a little uh, what would you call it, like in the mountain, like a ledge or an like alcove? a like an alcove type ledge thing? Isn't that where another one is? Uh, there might be. I know of two, but not one of them is the waterfall one. And How do I say no to the train? Press A if you want me to teach. Oh, that's probably what I did. I yes. Probably... And then you press B. B. Get me out of here. Press B. Press B. B. Fuck you, Bottle. You died in two years anyway. I always thought Bottle Brain was the greatest insult of all time when I was a child. <laughs> all right, let's go. Now I'm gonna get used to the Xbox controls. Yeah. How do you do the talent try? I don't even know it yet. You don't. Okay. You don't know it. Yeah. Okay. Let's get us some. Look how honey pretty in high definition. Look this at this is. carrot. When I was a kid, this game scared the living shit out Dude, of me. Dude, same. Like <laughs> this was my first video game I. Ever no, I played Mario three before. Oh, it's this, inverted, but I never owned it. This is the first game I owned. Can we switch the inverted? Or I, don't, do you mind? I don't think you can. Maybe. Um, That's how to play. That's Mr. Vile. Maybe. No. Um. Nope. Fuck. All right. So Sorry. I'll just, I'll just get used to it. You'll be fine. Um, leaderboards. Oh yeah, time for levels. We gotta get high on the leaderboards. Yeah, there's probably like tens of people. Unless that they've been hacked. This. Yeah, honeycomb one. Um, no, this game scared me so much as a kid. I'd have to have my dad like go through Spiral Mountain because of all these vegetables. <laughs> I would hate it. The cauliflower and the carrot were my least favorite of the bunch, and I'd have to have him do all that. And the bull. Holy shit. Yeah, the, the bull. bull and the shark, dude. The fucking the shark, shark still scares me. It's yeah. the music. When um, I was a kid and God. I would turn this game off, um, my sister and I, little trivia fact, my sister and I have a save file on Banjo-Kazooie that is over 57 hours long, and we don't even have all the jiggies. We were just really bad at this game, I guess. Maybe you just liked exploring the I mean, world. we did. Like, we would talk around and pretend like we were the characters, and I would voice Kazooie. <laughs> I don't know why, what? we were funny. But kids. you were the boy, and your sister is know. girl. Anyway, um... I think it's this, no, the other tree. Yeah, and then, uh, so anyway, this game scared the shit out of me. When you turn it off, <laughs> it shows this creepy grunty cutscene, no matter what. And I used to try to turn off my TV as fast as I could and then run out of my basement, because <laughs> I was just really scared of uh, grunty. I believe it. I was the same. She's a good villain. She's very bitter and evil. She, well, she doesn't really have a purpose for her hate. She just, well, she's like, I want to be beautiful, so I'm gonna steal your sister. In the second game, though, like she's out to kill. Like she, well, yeah, she goes we, to Banjo's house and blows it up. I don't. I mean, spoiler alert, in case you're interested in Banjo Kazooie lore, but Grunty fucking gets knocked down off of the top of her castle and is underneath of an impassable boulder for two years and dies. You <laughs> literally kill her. Because of starvation or lack of oxygen. Yeah. One or the other. And I think she's talking at the end of the game, so it's probably starvation. She probably just starves under there and then decomposes. Yeah, she's a skeleton in the sequel. Also, I apologize for the screen kind of going in circles. I'm still not used to the inversion. Isn't there a life or something There's, there? yeah, underneath. There's a little pocket to the right. To the right. Oh, sorry. But yeah, I'm still getting used to the inversion, so I apologize for the kind of crazy... So crazy. Oh, the fish move out of the way. Oh, fish next, physics. Next gen, everybody. Call of Duty Ghost says that, if you uh, didn't know. I knew it. <laughs> hey, look, we already got we, our first you know collectibles. You what's really funny is we're doing a new game now. We used to make that joke on Super Mario. Wait, what? We used to make that fish joke on Super Mario. On the sunshine? Yeah. <laughs> 
They have moving fish in Sunshine? No, but we would make that joke. Oh, just in reference to it. It's funny that we still have that Do you realize how good this is going to look in HD on the YouTube? I'm pretty excited. I hope everybody likes it. I hope Bryce likes it. Bryce, if you can hear me through your computer box, (laughs) I hope you like it. We did this just for you and our... And look, no, there's only a little black edge. I can edit these. I'll edit them. I like editing. This file's probably going to be bigger, though. That's okay. Oh, who cares? All right, folks, here we go. Into the castle. Into the more like asshole. <laughs> castle that's my what asshole. I'm saying. Um, Uh-oh, that's good. She just scares me. Like, she's huge. Well, okay, yeah, I don't like when she's tucked in there all, <laughs> like, tight. Plungo is hilarious in the second game. Yeah. <laughs> he goes off to make video games. Yeah. Well, he, he every he time makes he... that game where <laughs> Klunga saves the world. Yeah, <laughs> I never got that far in Nuts and Bolts because my the game just got scratched. <laughs> I have to go to play and trade and get it buffer. Klunga is a great character. Yeah, I hate that everyone. Uh, there's this quote by a rare employee that says, "The industry is changing. We can't just finish a game and slap googly eyes on everything anymore." Because <laughs> that's just every character is has this huge name. It's true. I think everyone, like, if they made a new banjo game, I think the world would explode. Oh, totally. I would shoot well, my pants. okay, a proper banjo game. If they made Nuts and Bolts 2, I would probably kill Whatever myself. happened to Minji Jongo? That Twitter account. I looked at that the other day. So did I, and I cried. Yeah, they haven't tweeted in, like, a year. Yeah. Well, in, like, relation to the game. We almost got our first achievement. Yeah, we're one away. However, um, we are going to do Mumbo's Mountain next time. Next time on Game um, Grumps. Well, we're going to unlock it first. Okay, okay. I'm still getting used to inversion. A little crazy. A little cray cray. Um, thanks, Bottles. We'll get it. Thanks, Boggles. <laughs> yeah, there's one jiggy you have to like leave as the ant and then climb up the little mountain. They do that in all the levels where you transform. Yeah, because then you have to jump somewhere as a pumpkin and then you have to... Yeah, there's like a small hole and you can like fit in as a pumpkin. And... What do you do with the crocodile, I think? The crocodile is for... I know it as I play. Like, this game has so much muscle memory Yeah, for me. absolutely. Um, all right, so, gang, um, we've introduced the game, Super Mario 64. Uh, oops, I mean Legend of Zelda. I oops, mean, we mean Taxi. Rocket Robot on Wheels. Anyway, this should be a fun one. We would love to see you next time. See you next time in our pants. I don't know, that was stupid.